when the Holy Ghost makes the word, word real to you, the word works. Everybody say the word works. Is everybody happy? Everybody smile big then. Everybody that's watching, I want you especially, I don't care if you're uh, drinking or, uh, or uh, smoking a joint or whatever. I ain't telling you to put it out. Let's keep on listening to the Word. Keep a listening to the Word. That's the main thing. Hear the Word. People think I've got to get like this before I can, I, I can go to church. I've got, to, I've got to quit doing this, and I've got to get this lined out. And then when I do that, I, I'm, I'm going to start going to church, and I'm going to start doing this, or then I'll get saved. That's not what it's all about. Let God move on you through his word and receive Jesus as your Savior. And he'll let you know anything else you need to do. You can't get holy enough to be accepted of God no way. Jesus died for the ungodly. He didn't die for the godly, did he? So don't try to clean up and get good so that you can be in the family of God, just get born again. You'll see things go to changing. It'll change then. But the Word of God, it's not for no private interpretation. It's for everybody that will read it, everybody will listen to it. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Timothy three sixteen. Well, let's, let's read fifteen. It said and that from a child. Now I want us to get zeroed in on what it's saying. The word. What's in the Bible? The word of God. And that from a child has known the holy scriptures. Now it's talking about what's in this book, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That means that this word right here, if we read it and receive it, that, hit, that hits a good antidote for doctrine to reprove us when we're wrong to get us straightened up and lined out. We don't need to try to do that ourselves, no way. Let's just get born again and get right and let this word get us lined out by the Holy Ghost. Now then, let's go to 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. I'll feed you some scripture anyway. Write them down, read them later. Or read them now, however you want to do it. 1 John chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. For this is the love of God. Everybody will say, the love of God. Now this is the love of God right here. That we keep his commandments. What are his commandments? What's written in this word here? That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. You know what that means? We've been taught all of our life that you can't hardly understand the word. It's hard to understand. You just can't understand it. Why it's hard to understand is because everybody's told everybody how hard it is to understand it. When they read it, they think they can't understand it when they are understanding it. That makes sense? But it's not grievous. It ain't hard. The word of God is not hard. And God's word is not grievous. It's not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Now what's the victory that overcomes the world? It's our faith, isn't it? Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. How do you get saved? If you want to get saved right now before I get done, the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, 
thou shalt be saved. For with your heart you believe unto righteousness, and with your mouth confession is made unto salvation. Well, that's too simple. That's just how simple it is. Jesus Christ paid the price. He died and was punished and died a terrible death so that we, all we had to do is just to believe that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. 